Good morning and welcome to this hour-long Hatha Yoga practice. Today's theme is going to be all around grounding. There's a lot of high vibration around us in the, uh, in the universe at the moment, in the ether, and it's really important at times like this that we're able to stop, to ground in order to try and um, silence feelings of hyperactivity, of high anxiety, um, perhaps even, um, you know, not having the ability to sleep, things like that. So we're going to really focus on the stillness through every posture today and think about ways in which we feel a little bit more grounded to the earth beneath us. So let's begin by coming into a comfortable uh, seated position. So you might be cross-legged, you could extend the legs out in front or even sit back onto the heels if you prefer having the hands resting down onto your thighs, wherever feels most comfortable. The palms may be facing down here just to increase that feeling of grounding. But if it's one of those days where you do need to draw in energy for yourself, then have the palms of your hands facing up toward the ceiling. Tuck chin to chest, lengthen through the back of your neck and begin to allow your eyes to gently close. And just take a moment or two here to become very, very present in your breath and in your body. Begin to notice the sensations which exist in your body today. And notice where those sensations are residing. Feel into those sensations, but if at all possible, try to avoid labeling them as positive or negative. Just accept them for what they are. From your physical body, start to draw awareness to your more energetic body. Notice your mood and your energy levels. But most importantly, begin to tune into your breath. Feel the length and the quality of each and every breath. Notice that subtle lifting sensation through the spine, through crown of the head, toward the sky. And on your exhale, feel a drawing down through the spine into the sacrum, moving down toward the earth. Perhaps even visualizing roots growing from your sit bones down into the earth beneath you. With each inhale, those roots grow longer and longer. Once you've grown your roots far enough, pause, and then start to draw up energy from the earth with every inhalation. Having a sense with each exhale that you're sending back whatever you don't need. So in entering into this full energy exchange with the earth, drawing up with each inhalation, all of those sensations, all of those qualities that come with a sense of groundedness. Perhaps a sense of being centered, a sense of being supported, being safe, 
feeling like you belong. Keep this going, keep working with the visualization and just ensure that your breath is as deep as you can make it. Allow each and every inhalation to flood down into the belly, to lift up and across the rib cage, rising up toward the crown of the head. And on your exhale, that sense of gently drawing belly button back to spine, softening through shoulders, relaxing through jaw. Draw the awareness into the palms of your hands, whether they are up or down. And just start to feel into this space of connectivity. This space at which we're able to reach out and connect with others. See if you can notice a pulsing or a dancing of energy in the center of the hand. Acknowledge your ability to connect with people around you, with your environment, with the earth. From here, allow the prayer hands to meet at the heart center and gently bow your chin into your chest, lengthening the back of your neck. Take another big expansive breath into your heart space. Take a moment to contemplate an intention for this practice today. Perhaps it is simply an intention to feel more grounded. Perhaps there's someone or something else that you'd like to bring into your practice today. Gently begin to release the hands down. Flicker open your eyes and we'll just start to open up through the body now. So I'd like you to interlace your fingers. Stretch the hands all the way up above the head, palms facing toward the ceiling. Take a nice deep inhale, reach up through the hands and start to hug the upper arms in towards the ears. Again, have that sense of lengthening up as tall as you can through the spine. You're rooted down through your sit bones as the hands reach up to the ceiling. On your exhale, we're going to round forward. So start to allow the hands to move down in front of you, perhaps in line with the shoulders and then tuck chin to chest and arch through the back of your body. Allowing your head to drop down, your neck to fully relax. And again, just focusing on that nice, deep and expansive breath here. Send your inhale into the base of your neck and into the space between your eyebrows. On your exhale, see if you can push your hands a little bit further forwards to create a little bit more space between shoulders. using the length of your inhale to rise all the way back up, hands reaching toward the sky. And on your exhale, taking the hands behind you and interlacing your fingers together. So from here, once you've interlaced the hands, just soften into the elbows ever so slightly, draw them away from the ears and reach out through the arms. It might not be possible for everyone to get the arms straight, so don't worry if they're not poker straight here. Allow the chin to tuck toward the chest and take a deep inhale into the center of your chest. On your exhale, if it's possible, start to lift your hands up and away from your bottom until you begin to feel a deep opening for the back of your neck and shoulders. Have a sense of unclenching your jaw.
searching for the space in this notoriously tight area of the body. Take one more deep inhale. And then exhale, release the hands back down. Well done. Coming into a gentle twist from here. Breathe in and stretch your right arm up toward the ceiling. Take the fingertips of the left hand to the mat behind you and as you breathe out, allow your right hand to come to the outer edge of your left thigh. Inhale all the way down into the sacrum and have that sense that you're lengthening up through the spine toward crown of head. And on your out breath, gently start to soften into your belly and see if you can take your twist slightly deeper. Close the eyes. Keep visualizing that energy exchange from the earth. The inhale drawing energy and vitality up through the roots into the body and the exhale sending what doesn't serve you back into the earth. Inhaling to stretch the arms above the head, lengthen up through the fingertips. Exhale, twisting to the second side, left hand onto right thigh this time with right fingertips to the mat behind you. Big deep inhales help you to lengthen up through crown of head and exhales help you to soften belly and shoulders as you twist. Relax into your jaw, allowing chin to soften toward the chest. Well done, use the length of your next inhale to spiral back to face the front and we'll start to make our way onto hands and knees from here. So if you have anything underneath your seat, then just move it over to one side for a moment and make your way onto your hands and your knees. <clears throat> Take this opportunity just to ensure that shoulders stack over wrists, knees underneath the hips and feel that your belly button is gently drawing toward the spine so that you're lengthening out through the low back. Soften into your elbows slightly and have a sense of trying to squeeze your elbows into the central line of the body so that the upper back starts to switch on. Toes are curled under. Hands are spread wide, feeling knuckles of the hands grounded into the mat. And from here, we'll make our way back into downward facing dog. Take a big inhale and on your exhale with toes tucked, send the bottom high and begin to press your chest toward your thighs. Keeping a nice deep bend in your knees to begin with. See if you can maybe even bring your torso and thighs to touch. Now relax the neck, let the head hang heavy. And if it feels good from here, maybe starting just to pedal out through the feet slightly. Notice whether it's possible to time your movements with your breaths. Inhale to send one heel down to the mat. Exhale to switch to the opposite side. Keep the jaw unclenched. Make sure that you haven't locked out through your elbows. There's still a bit of a softness in the joint here and that sense of wrapping inwards to switch on through your shoulders. Begin to find your way to stillness through your legs, gazing back toward your toes. Turn the heels out ever so slightly so the outer edges of heels line up with the outer edges of little toes. Take a nice deep breath, which moves all the way up into the sacrum. Exhale, reaching your heels in the direction of the floor, even though they never actually need to touch. Inhale, soften both knees and look ahead, starting to walk your feet towards your hands, finding a little forward fold here. So the feet are hip distance apart. There's a softness to the knees so that torso and thighs can meet. And we'll come into Padangustasana. So first two fingers and thumbs wrapping around the big toes here. Take a nice deep inhale, that sense of lengthening through crown of head. Exhale, elbows bend wide as you draw yourself a little deeper over the thighs. Close your eyes here and start to reconnect with that deep inhale and long exhale. Without lengthening it, see if you can just spot that pause 
between the inhale and exhale and exhale and inhale. That point at which there is complete stillness, complete silence. Taking awareness down into the feet, have a sense that your padabanda, your footlock is switched on. Pressing down through the inner and outer edges of the balls of the feet, the inner and outer edges of the heels. A sense of lifting up through the arches, so the inner seams of the legs lift and pelvic floor switches on. On your next breath in, lengthen through spine. Look toward the top of the mat and then bring fingertips to your hips and rise all the way up to standing with a straight back. As you rise to the top, shoulders draw away from the ears. Step the feet together in Tadasana. Palms turning forwards and fingers spread wide. Gently close your eyes. Unclench your jaw. And again, just take a moment to feel that grounding through the body. That sense that the feet are connected and rooted into the earth. On the inhale, there's a sense that you're drawing that strength up into the thighs as they lift. Belly lifts up and underneath the rib cage, and the crown of the head rises up toward the ceiling. On your next full inhalation, reach the arms above the head and move your drishti, your gaze to your thumbs. Exhale, soften through knees and forward fold with a straight spine until your hands reach down toward the floor, gaze to belly button. Long inhale, lengthen through the back body, gazing toward the top edge of the mat, so back of neck is long. Exhale, forward fold over your legs, relaxing through the back of your head. Inhale, reach arms to sky, gaze up toward fingertips as you lengthen. Exhale, arms down by side body, Tadasana. Twice more like that. Inhale, reach up, moving in time with your personal breath. Exhale, softening knees, forward folding with control. Inhale, unlock the jaw as you lengthen through the spine to find your flat back. Hands could be on shins here. Exhale, rock weight into your toes as you fold over your legs and gaze to belly button. Big inhale, sweep the arms high, gazing to thumbs. Exhale, arms come down by your side body. Inhale, stretch up through the arms and look for your thumbs. And now on your exhale, soften into your knees and fold yourself all the way forwards. Step just your left foot to the back of your mat this time and gently lower the left knee down to the floor for low lunge. Breathing in, stretch your arms up alongside the ears. Take a moment to feel the foundations of this posture. Pressing down strongly through the front heel and an energetic sense that you're trying to drag the front heel toward the back knee, back knee to front heel. Squeeze into your glutes. Taking your right hand to right hip, breathe in and stretch up through left fingertips. Exhale as you move into a side stretch, opening up nice and deeply into your left hip flexor. Gaze down toward the floor to relax through back of neck. Good, inhale, come back up so you're nice and straight through spine and then exhale, cross left elbow over right knee to twist. Making a fist with your left hand, spread your right hand over the top and then press down to start to find a little bit more space through the back body. Inhale, there's a sense of lengthening through crown of head. Exhale, soften through belly and see if you can turn just a little bit further around to side wall. Option here to relax neck and allow left ear to move to left shoulder. If you like to curl under back toes and lift the back knee, you're welcome, but try to make sure that whichever version you choose helps you feel the most grounded here, the most connected. On your next breath out, begin to turn your gaze to the floor and drop your hands either side of the front foot. So lower the back knee if it's lifted. We're coming into a half split from here. 
So take the bottom to stack over the back knee, front leg becomes straight. So just heel toe a little bit further forwards here if it isn't completely straight once you've moved the seat. Draw outer left hip forwards, outer right hip back, nice deep breath in. Flexing right toes back towards you, exhale, soften through the elbows and start to hinge forwards from your hips. Chin softens to chest, back of the neck is long. Close the eyes. Experiment with the front foot by pointing the toes and then flexing them back towards you. Notice what feels like the best stretch for you today and then just pause in that variation. Again, see how it feels to have that sense as we did in our low lunge to energetically drag the front heel toward the back knee, back knee to front heel. Use the le length of your next inhale to lift up through chest. Ground the front foot down to the floor and then step back into your high flank. On your exhalation, gently lower both knees to the mat. Keep belly button drawing to spine as you gently lower chest and belly down to the floor. Tops of the legs are long against the mat. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Low cobra with no hands, deep breath in. On your exhale, lift up through the chest and see if you can start to float the palms of your hands just a couple of inches away from the floor here. Tops of the feet are plugged into the mat. Nice deep breaths in, again lengthening through crown of head, chin tucks to chest. Exhale, there's that sense that elbows are squeezing into side body and shoulders are lengthening away from the ears. Well done, plant the hands down to the floor, curl your toes under, downward facing dog, send the bottom up and backwards. Keep softening into your elbow joints and hugging into the center line. Palms are spread as wide as you can. Fingers are spread as wide as you can. That sense that you're growing roots down through the palms of your hands now and drawing the energy up from the earth here. On your next inhale, soften both knees, look ahead. And again, step feet to hands, as many steps as you need to take. This time as you arrive, lengthen into flat back, finding as much space through the back body as you can. And then exhale, keep the knees soft, forward fold. Let's take the palms of the hands underneath the soles of the feet this time. So you might need to bend the knees a lot here and that's absolutely fine if you need to do that. One more time, lengthen through the spine, draw shoulder blades away from the ears and keep the shoulder blades lifting up toward the waist as you forward fold completely. Gaze moves in the direction of belly button to lengthen back of neck. Jaw unlocks. And again, having that sense of grounding down through your feet, your padabanda footlock. Pressing through the base of the big toe and little toe, the inner and the outer heel. Arches are lifting up, connecting you with mulabanda, pelvic floor. Embrace any little shakes or wobbles in the legs. Good, inhale, lift the chest. Take your hands out from underneath your feet, fingertips to floor. This time, the right foot steps back for our low lunge. So gently lower the back knee to the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. So legs are at right angles here. Deep breath in. As we did on the first round, as you exhale, have that sense of dragging the left heel toward you and sending the right knee forward. So you've got this energetic drawing into the center line. Left hand comes onto left hip. Inhale, stretch up through right fingertips. Exhale, take your side stretch toward the left side. So there's a firm grounding down through the feet, through the legs. They feel very strong here. You're accessing a deep opening through the right side waist, perhaps moving all the way down into the right hip flexor, the right IT band. 
Soften your jaw, turn your gaze down toward the floor so the neck is soft. Inhale, lift yourself back up to the top. Exhale to twist, right elbow over left knee. So ensure that you've made a fist with your right hand and then you spread the left hand on top so that you can very gently press down and turn through the spine a little bit further. Inhale, there's that sense of lengthening through crown. Exhale, relax your belly and allow right ear to travel toward right shoulder. Unclench your jaw. Remember that you have the option here to curl under the back toes and lift the back knee if that feels like a nice challenge for you today. But if you're super wobbly there, just keep the back knee on the floor. Again, searching for those spaces between inhale and exhale, exhale and inhale, keeping you here, keeping you in the moment. On your next out breath, look down to the floor, spiral hands either side of front foot. If back knee is lifted, ground it down to the mat, coming into our half split. Butt stacks over the back knee. Walk your front foot a little further forward so that the left leg becomes straight. And again, think about the energetics in the legs. So the left heel draws back towards the right knee, right knee draws forwards toward the left heel. Outer right hip rounding forwards and you already feel that will make a much uh, deeper stretch for the back of your left leg. Breathe in, lift up through the heart and then exhale, soften through your elbows and forward fold from here. It might be that you move just a centimeter and that's fine. If you can come further down and maybe even tap your nose to the front knee, that's also fine. Remember, you can play around with the positioning of the front foot, pointing toes, flexing them back towards you. Just notice what feels good here and then choose the deepest stretch. Choose something that you can work with, something that you can sink a little bit deeper into with the help of your breath. Close the eyes. Good, length of inhale helps you to lift up through the chest. Ground front foot to floor, walk the hands either side, step back, find your high plank. Inner thighs hugging together, belly draws in. On your exhale, lower both knees down to the mat and then chest and belly follow, elbows dusting the side rib cage as you come all the way down. This time coming into Shalabhasana by taking the arms alongside the body with the palms of your hands facing down toward the floor. Take a big expansive breath into the side rib cage. On your exhale, lift your chest and your legs, but keep the palms of your hands grounded. Have a sense that rather than scrunching shoulders towards the ears, you're broadening through the front body and sliding the tips of the shoulder blades down toward low back. Pointing through the toes. Feel the energy drawing from your toes up toward your thighs into your belly and then lifting up through the heart space into the crown of the head. Grounding down through your tummy, one more big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way flat to the floor. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Curl under your toes, find your way back into downward facing dog. Take a moment here, close the eyes. Feel your breath echoing around in the ears. On your next inhale, soften both knees, look ahead and step your feet towards your hands, finding that forward fold. Again, ensure that the spine is long, so soften into both knees if needed. Place your left fingertips to the ground directly between the feet here and then take your right arm up toward the sky to find a twist. On your inhale, roll the right shoulder back to broaden through the front body a little bit further. 
you have the option here either to take hold of your waistband with your right hand or reach for the top of your left hip. Keep lengthening out through crown of head, exhale twisting through upper body and you can gaze over the right shoulder or if it doesn't feel so kind for your neck, look straight ahead or down toward the floor. Well done. On your next big breath in, start to unwrap the right hand, take right fingertips down to the floor. And then inhale, lengthen left arm to sky, open up through the chest. Exhale, option to take hold of your waistband or the top of your right hip here. Keep lengthening through the crown, weight moving into toes. Exhale, roll left shoulder back. See if you can start to open up through front body a little bit further. You might be gazing upwards, straight ahead or down. Breathe in, unwrap the top hand, bring fingertips down to the floor and then moving both hands onto your hips on your exhale, begin to rise all the way up into standing with control. Finding your way back to Tadasana, palms turn forwards, take a nice deep breath in and slow breath out. From here we move into Eagle Pose. Breathe in and stretch your hands up toward the ceiling. Now wrap your right arm underneath your left and if your shoulders are tight you can hold opposite shoulders here, otherwise wrapping through your forearms. Take a nice deep inhale and on the exhale, bend into both knees and start to sit down as though you were sitting into an imaginary chair. Moving the weight into your left foot, start to lift the right knee and see if you can wrap right thigh over left. You could have the right big toe on the floor here, but if it's possible, see if you can wrap it around the back of your left ankle. Fixate your drishti, your gaze on one still spot in front of you. Squeeze everything to center line. If at all possible, see if you can bend into your knees a little deeper. Again, that sense of squeezing everything into the central line of the body. That sense of grounding down through the left foot. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, unwrap the right leg, step it back behind you for high lunge through your legs. Inhale deeply. Exhale, sink into your front knee and soften into the back knee ever so slightly. Send the elbows forwards and upwards. And then on your out breath, tuck chin to chest and relax your forehead into the upper arm. <clears throat> Option to close your eyes here to challenge the balance a little bit further. Notice if you're closing the eyes, the need to switch on the inner thighs a little bit further. Well done, breathe in, flicker eyes open, lift the gaze, unwrap the arms, roll the shoulders back and interlace the hands behind the back of your head. Take a big breath in, feel almost like you're gently drawing the back of your head upwards to lengthen the back of your neck and on your exhale, allow your head to rest back into your hands. Tummy draws in and you're taking a very gentle back bend here. Elbows moving wide. Strong deep breaths in and long deep exhales. Good, breathe in, rise up to the top. This time, ground the back heel to the floor and sweep the arms open alongside you to find a warrior two position. Moving through Skandasana this time, bend into your back knee and begin to straighten into the front leg, bringing the hands to prayer position at your heart center. Option to stay here, particularly if knees and hips are a little bit uh, achy or sensitive. Otherwise, you can dip your bottom all the way down toward the back heel opening up through your chest. 
Take a nice deep breath in, either keeping hands in prayer or fingertips on the floor, traveling to the front of the mat, lift up through the hips, left knee bends, right leg becomes straight. Take a moment, lift through chest, turn to face the sky, and then exhale, look down, hands to floor, step back into your downward facing dog, bottom is high. Deep breath in, exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Again, drawing back all of those qualities that are associated with being grounded here. That sense of being stable, of feeling safe, of feeling connected with the earth, being a part of a bigger picture. Breathe in, soften both knees, look ahead, step feet to hands, forward fold. This time, inhale to flat back, lift the heart. And then fingertips come to hips, rise all the way up to the standing. Shoulders roll back at the top, Tadasana, turn your palms to face straight ahead. Deep breath in, full breath out. Let's come into Eagle Pose on the second side this time. So inhale, stretch the arms above the head and then take the left arm underneath the right this time. Either holding opposite shoulders or wrapping the forearms if you can. Big inhale. Soften into both knees, sit down into your imaginary chair. This time it's the left knee that lifts, wrapping over the top of the right leg. Remember, if you're wobbly, a uh, big left toe is on the floor. Otherwise, you could see, if it's possible, wrap it around the back of your right ankle. See if you can stack your elbows over top of knees as you sink a little deeper into the knees. Drishti constant, breath is strong. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, unwrap top leg. Step back, finding your high lunge legs from here. Deep breath in, sink deeper into the front knee. Exhale, soften into the back knee also here to curl the tailbone under, belly button draws in. Send the elbows forwards, lift them up. And if you want to challenge here, tuck chin to chest and relax your forehead into the upper arms. Option to close the eyes as well. Again, feel grounded through the base of the big toe and pinky toe, inner and outer edges of the heel, rather than gripping the mat with your toes. Flickering open the eyes, inhale, lift the gaze. Reach the arms all the way above the head, interlace the fingers and pop the hands around the back of your skull. Breathe in, there's that sense of lifting up through the crown of the head, lifting up and out of the low back and then exhale, allow the back of your head to rest into your hands. Continue to be steady, continue to be strong. Trust yourself to let the head go, to allow the upper body to support the weight of your head. Good, one more deep breath in. And then gently lifting back up to the top. Open up the arms, find that warrior two stance, arms lining up with shoulders. Now from here, we're coming into Skandasana again. So bend into the back knee, straighten through front leg on the right heel. You can either stay up or if it's at all possible, sit your butt down toward the left heel. And then see if you can turn your heart space open toward the sky. Right toes are flexed and engaged. Deep breath in. Exhale, traveling toward the front of your mat, either using the hands or without, sinking into the right knee this time and straightening through your left leg. Deep breath into the center of the chest, lift up through the heart. Exhale, twist and turn through the body. Really nice work. Gently look down, spiral the hands either side of the front foot. 
From here, step straight to the top of the mat, this time forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, flat back, fingertips to hips, and then gently rise all the way up to the top on your exhale. Good. Stepping to the top of your mat, Tadasana, turn your palms to face forwards. Deep breath in, long sigh out, let it go. So today our peak pose is going to be either tree pose or toe stand depending on where you want to take your practice today. So try and listen to your body as we move into this next one. So again, left leg will be standing leg, transferring the weight into the left foot, come up onto the ball of your right foot, placing the sole of the right foot either below or above the knee, or if it's at all possible, see if you can bring the outer edge of the foot to the top of your left thigh into lotus pose. And you may have to hold the foot there, but if it's possible, press that left thigh into the outer edge of the foot, the foot back into the leg, and that way you should feel fairly stable and steady here. So just have a moment, have the hands to prayer position at your heart center. And again, have that sense of drawing energy up through the roots that exist through the bottom of your foot into the earth and the sense of lifting the crown of the head up toward the sky. Now, if you're staying in tree pose, feel free to reach the arms above the head here and pause as you are. If you're moving toward toe stand, bringing the fingertips down toward the floor. So we're hinging from the hips as we begin to move forwards here. Reaching the fingertips toward the earth, maybe just pausing in a forward fold. And again, this could be enough for you. If you wish to come deeper, you're bending into the standing knee and you're sitting your butt down onto the left heel. Now there's a sense of squeezing both knees into the center line. And you might see, can you start to stack your head over top of the hips and maybe even bring the hands together, prayer at heart center, or take a little clap. <laughs> Good, let's start to make our way out of toe stand if you're with me. So grounding down through left foot, drawing in the tummy, slowly coming all the way up to meet our neighbors. We'll stretch the arms above the head. And then collectively, as we exhale, hands come down through prayer position at heart center and we'll all release out together. Take a moment, catch your breath back, give the legs a little bit of a wobble, a little bit of a shake. Let go of the first side, let's move into second side now. Weight transferring into right foot this time. Come up onto the ball of your left foot and when you're ready, sole of the foot below or above the knee, but try not to press it on the knee joint itself. And remember, if it's possible to move into your half lotus position, you're very welcome. You can hold the foot there, or you're pressing the thigh into foot, foot into thigh to create that resistance. Big breath in, stretch the arms above the head, like your branches growing up toward the sky. And now if you're coming forwards into your toe stand, soften into your standing knee and begin to take your forward fold, reaching fingertips eventually to touch down to the floor. And it might be that you're pausing here today if this is enough for you. Otherwise, soften into the right knee, sit your butt down onto the left heel and see if you can walk the fingertips back. So the inner knee squeeze into the center line a little bit more. There's a sense of trying to stack your head over top of hips, belly drawing in. Maybe you're going for palms together or a clap. <laughs> Good. And let's gently start to release out if you're in your toe stand. So coming out the same way that you came in, finding the forward fold, gently bringing the hands together to rise up. Whoop. <laughs> Meeting our neighbors back in our tree pose, reaching the hands up toward the sky. And then exhale, collectively bringing the hands through prayer to center and releasing the left leg down. Well done. Give the legs a good, well-deserved shake out. Take a big sigh out through your mouth, let it go. Make sure you're at the top of the mat. Reach your hands forwards in line with shoulders, big breath in. Exhale, sit down into your imaginary chair. And keep the bottom moving down, 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 down until your bottom reaches the floor. See if you can do this without using the hands, if at all possible. Good. Easier said than done sometimes. So lengthening the legs out in front. 
So if you do uh, have a rounding in the back, sitting flat to the floor, grab a block or maybe a cushion, something to pad yourself out underneath your seat. Otherwise, legs extended with fingertips alongside the hips to find our way into Dandasana, staff pose. Big breath in, sense of lengthening up through the crown of the head. Soften shoulders away from ears and send your sternum forwards into space. Taking it into Paschimottanasana A, inhale, reach the arms up above the head. Exhale, ground down through the seat, hinge from the hips and begin to take your forward fold. Keep front and back body long here. Your hands might be resting on the floor alongside you. You might be reaching down toward the ankles. But if it's possible, wrapping your first two fingers and your thumbs around your big toes. A sense that your feet remain active here. Flex your toes strongly back towards you. Every inhale, there's that sense of lifting, lengthening through the crown. Each exhale, the elbows soften. You're taking your forward fold a little bit deeper. Close your eyes. And begin to tune inwards. Tune into the sound, the length, the rhythm of your breath. Feel grounded down through low body. Through sacrum, through the backs of the legs. Again, that sense of drawing up stability. A sense of connection. A sense that you are held and safe. On your next breath in, lengthen spine, reach fingertips out in front, rise up. And then exhale, lower hand down by the side body. Bend the right knee, bringing the sole of your right foot to the outer edge of left leg. Option to keep left leg straight here, or if it's possible, coming into full Matsya Andrasana by bending the left knee and tucking your heel to outer hip. Inhale, lengthen left arm alongside your ear. Right fingertips to the mat behind you. Exhale, cross the left elbow over the right thigh. Have that sense of lifting up through crown of the head with each breath in. And on every breath out, softening through your belly and turning through your torso a little bit further. If you're able to take a bind here, you're very welcome to take that practice. Otherwise, staying as you are. And just giving yourself a moment here to allow the spine to unwind and unravel. Well done on your inhale. Let's take a counter twist. So hands over to the left side, fingertips to floor. Just rock yourself forward slightly. And finding your way back to center. Stretching your legs out in front. Give them a little bit of a shake. Let it go. And we'll come straight to the second side. So right leg remains straight. Cross the left foot over the right thigh. And remember, you can keep your right leg straight out in front or if it feels better for you or if you're able to with your hips, then bend the right knee and tuck your heel to the outer edge of the hip. Breathe in, right arm up alongside the ear, left fingertips to the mat behind. Exhale, twist through the body. Hooking the right elbow over the left knee. And if that's not possible, then you can just hug the thigh towards you. Inhale all the way down through the pelvis into your sacrum. Exhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head, softening the periphery of the body, the jaw, the shoulders, the space between your eyebrows. Remember you can bind here if that's within your practice. Breathing in, moving all the way back to center, taking your derotation to the second side, fingertips to floor, lean yourself forwards. Have a moment there. And then slowly spiraling yourself around to face the front, extending your legs out, give them a little bit of a shake if you need. 
and we'll begin to make our way down onto our back. So just ensure that you've got lots of space and room behind you. Reach the hands out in front and take a long deep exhale to lower all the way down onto your back. Once the back of your head and shoulders meets the floor, spread the backs of the shoulders nice and wide and we're going to move straight into Shavasana today. So if there's any sensitivity in low back, knees together, feet wide, otherwise you might wish to extend your legs out along the floor. Either with the arms alongside the body or with a hand resting on the heart space and a hand resting onto your belly. And just start to allow your breath to rise and fall in your chest. Again, observing the breath and without lengthening it, just tuning in to that slight pause between inhale and exhale, exhale and inhale. Feel as though that small pause, that small sense of silence is resonating through your body, helping you to feel more secure, more grounded. But also helping you to stay present in the here and now. Taking this opportunity to detach from any kind of worries, anxieties or expectations of your day ahead. Equally letting go of what you've already done. Arriving in this present moment, enjoying this opportunity to just be, be in your body, be in your head as it is right now. So if you do have slightly long for your Shavasana today, then please feel free to stay exactly as you are. But if you do need to be making your way, take a moment, allow your breath to deepen a little bit further. And when you're ready, draw some small movement back into your fingers, into your toes. Perhaps eventually you take a little rotation through the ankles and the wrists. And finally, just treat yourself to a full body stretch. Lengthen the arms above the head. Stretch your feet out in front. And on your exhale, gently draw both knees toward chest and just rock yourself to one side and pause there. Just have a fetal position for a moment. Tuning back into your intention. Tuning back into our theme of feeling grounded, feeling secure. And in your own time, whenever you feel ready, coming to find your way to a comfortable seat.
And as you arrive there, bring the hands to prayer position at your heart center and just gently bow your chin to chest. Sealing the energy of our practice today with the sound of OM. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Oh. Gently bring the prayer hands up to the space between your eyebrows, length and tall. Peace in your thoughts. Prayer hands in front of your lips. Peace in your words and in front of your heart. Peace in your actions. Namaste, everybody. <laughs>